Emily Turner has her eye on some storm damage there. Morning, Emily. Yeah, good morning, and I'm here in Ronan Park at uh, the Rancho Verde Mobile Home Park where a tree came down last night. Take a look at the damage it has done to this mobile home. Basically, it's red tagged, and it, with the people who live here, man, they are very, very lucky. It all happened around 9 o'clock last night when the storm was really picking up and the wind was blowing, the rain was coming down, and when this 100-foot poplar tree just came crashing down right into the mobile home, crushing it, two people were home. Luckily, Neither one of them was injured, but we did find out uh, that one of the people who was home was actually in the bed. This came crushing down through the bedroom ceiling and was just feet from her face. Gosh, so they were very, very lucky. Again, no injuries there. The home, though, has been red tagged due to the major damage, and the folks who live here were picked up by family members to uh, shelter tonight. But overall, when it comes to the North Bay, they really dodged a bullet. Uh, we understand there is the potential of the atmospheric river is likely going to stall out over them. And that's the kind of fear that we have here locally. You know, we we're fortunate that it looked like the the portion of the atmospheric river that we had here locally pushed through relatively quickly. Again, it's kind of like fire season where, um, you know, we upstaffed here in our county with additional resources, just like we would for a red flag warning day uh, in anticipation of a potential uh, mudslide or, you know, weather related event here. And uh, they did have the emergency operations center open in Sonoma County. That now has been shut down because they feel like the, through the most of it, uh, they've actually been able to be okay. There were evacuation orders also in the burn scar in Napa County. Uh, so far, we have not gotten any reports of any damage or any issues there. So at this point, other than the fact that there are almost 10,000 people without power, the North Bay seems to have gotten through the night all right. Reporting live in Roanoke Park, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.